is a three-year project funded by European Commission. Uh, our aim is to fill the gap in the seismic behavior of the structure. This is something really necessary because uh, the structure are just partially or sometimes not at all uh, mentioned in uh, national and European design code. We have two main uh, research topics. The first one is the behavior of connections and the second one is the behavior of the structure as a whole. We are working to divide design guidelines and also to develop uh, numerical tools that can be used in the everyday uh, activity. So here uh, we are at uh, the laboratory for earthquake engineering of the National Technical University of Athens. We are uh, testing this uh, structure under uh, ground earthquake ground motion, uh, uh, real earthquakes, uh, to see how it responds uh, and uh, what the resistance of the connection is. We had uh, made uh, other tests, uh, static tests, uh, where we tested the strength of the connection uh, in the monotonic and uh, cyclic uh, loading. And uh, with this test here, we uh, compare the results to see uh, whether uh, the static test can predict the real dynamic uh, response, uh, which means the response of the structure during a real earthquake. In this uh, particular test, the connection uh, behaved very well. Uh, we had uh, uh, damage at the bottom of the column, but uh, uh, minor damage uh, at uh, the connection, and uh, practically there was no problem at the connection itself. As one of the five RTD providers, we are responsible from the work package three of SafeCast project which is related to the theoretical work we are carrying on. This theoretical work to cover the beam column connections, any kind of beam column connection we tested, and uh, double connections. Uh, actually, uh, in National Technical University of Latin and in the Vienna University, they started a series of uh, double connections. We are planning to complete the final element analysis of those first and then we are going to come up uh, with some uh, general failure modes and some uh, models. Depending on that, we are going to repeat uh, the, the mathematical uh, uh, specimens means the work, uh, applying the findings to some other uh, uh, models other parameters, then we are going to simplify the uh, results we are going to have and to submit those results for uh, practice. So the SafeCast is the last of a long series of experimental researches performed during more than 15 years to support the European standardization for what concerns precast structures in seismic areas. The laboratories of Istanbul, Athens, Ljubljana, Milan and Lisbon provided already a large crop of results obtained from tests on single connections. But the test presently in progress at Telsa Laboratory on a full-scale prototype of precast structure represents a unique occasion to measure inside the effects of different arrangements of connection and verify their actual capacity under earthquake condition. No other similar experiments have never been performed in the world. The European Laboratory for Structural Assessment is a facility which is unique in Europe as for loading capacity and size. At the European Laboratory for Structural Assessment, we use the so-called pseudo-dynamic test method. That's a method which is hybrid in the sense that it combines physical testing as well as uh, online numerical simulation. The scope is to test at the same time traditional as well as innovative connection. This explains to some extent the size of the mock-up we are dealing with because the need was to combine different kinds of connections 
and to test these connections in a full scale, which is mandatory for this kind of problems. In Europe, 50 million of square meters of precast buildings are constructed per year. Major part of European industrial production is done in such buildings. Originally, there were predominantly single-story buildings. Now, market demands multi-story structures used for apartment buildings and shopping center housing thousands of people. So, if these buildings are not designed properly, the seismic risk can be very high. On the other hand, economy precludes over conservative structural solutions. So, proper balance should be found. However, due to the complicated seismic behavior of these buildings, our knowledge is still limited and the design practice and codes need improvement. These structures are composed of precast elements and connections between them. Using experimental results, we are building numerical models for the seismic behavior of connections and structural systems. Special attention is given to multi-story structures. Our aim is to build complex analytical tools for scientific research and extrapolation of experimental research. With these models, we are able to provide a realistic estimate of seismic risk used to develop adequate prevention measures as well as design and retrofit procedures. But first of all, we are aiming to develop simplified tools, procedures and formulas to be used in the everyday design practice. These results have been already used in the development of Eurocodes, which are the common European standard for the design of structures. Important topics like seismic reduction factors, the design of existing dowel connections and innovative rigid connections, as well as the design procedures for multi-story structures considering higher mode effects, have been addressed, making Eurocodes the first standard providing complete solutions for the design of precast industrial buildings.